Okay, so they want us to graph this quadratic, and they want us to use the graph to find the roots. I'm going to, I just like to find the roots algebraically. So I'm going to find that, and then use the graph to support that my roots are correct. So how do I find the roots algebraically? I factor the quadratic when it equals 0, because I want to find what x can equal when y is 0. And that's when you have your roots, when y is 0 here. So to factor this, we set up our parentheses, we're going to need x times x to get the x squared. And then we define two numbers that multiply negative 8 and add to 2. Those two numbers are going to be positive 4 and negative 2. Multiply positive 4 and negative 2, you get negative 8, add them, you get positive 2, and you're done. So this equals 0, right? But that means that x plus 4 or x minus 2 or both of them are 0, because in order to get a 0 product, one or the other or both of the numbers have to be 0. So here, if we say x plus 4 equals 0, and we subtract 4 from both sides, x equals negative 4. So when x equals negative 4, y is 0. That's one of our roots right here. This is a root. And over here we have x minus 2 equals 0. We add 2 to both sides, and x equals 2. That means one of our other roots is 2 and 0. Those are our roots. So we plot these, we get negative 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is one of our roots. Negative 4, 0. That's a root. And the other root is 2, 0. So now what's going to help you graph this is to find the axis of symmetry so you can find the vertex. The axis of symmetry is just halfway between. So you can kind of tell right now that halfway between it has got to be this line right here. All right, it's halfway between your roots, and that's your axis of symmetry, x equals negative 1. But you can always calculate that quickly um, by taking negative b and dividing it by 2a. So here b is 2, so negative b is negative 2, over 2a is 2 times 1. So it's negative 1. So that means x equals negative 1 is the line for the axis of symmetry. And that's a key value because the axis has to cross the vertex, right? So if the axis crosses the vertex, you can find your vertex by plugging in negative 1 into your quadratic. So here, when x equals negative 1, we have negative 1 squared plus negative 2, right? Because 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 minus 8. So it's 1 plus negative 2, that's negative 1, right? Um, minus 8 is negative 9. So that means our vertex is at negative 9. So we can plot that. 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So right, I missed it right there on the graph. Uh, so you would have enough graph paper, of course. Here I don't. So here, that means the vertex is negative 1, negative 9, right? Let's double check. 1 minus 2 is negative 1 minus 8. Okay, it's negative 9. So now once you have this, you can set up a rough graph, because all you really need is to connect these points in a way that kind of makes sense, right? Uh, so you're going to show the curvature between the points here. I'm going to do a better job than that here. Let me fix that. Oops. Oops, wrong button. Sorry. All right. So the curvature you want to show here, and then extend your arrow, and then here, do the same thing. You want to be as accurate as possible. If you want to get the best kind of graph, you can plug in other x values between the vertex and the roots, right? So here, label this root. Maybe I plug in 3 and um, negative 5 outside the roots to get another point. Maybe I plug in points here as well. But the more pl points you plug in, the better. I think 3 is enough, but if you plug in 2 more, you'll definitely have a great graph. Um,